Hey, what's going on, Guardians? My name is The Black Link, and today is the first Zer's Day of Warmind. That's right, we're getting back to making some Zer's Day videos. Let's go ahead and see what he's got for sale this week. Now, of course, this week the Flashpoint planet is Nessus, so you're going to want to hop there, head to the Watcher's Grave, and come on over to your boy Zer and see what he's got. First things first, of course, we've got the Faded Ingram. This is the Dupe Protected Ingram. It's going to run you about 97 Legendary Shards, but it should give you something you haven't gotten thus far. Next up, we've got the Knucklehead Radar Exotic Hunter Helmet. This provides radar when aiming and grants you increased resilience or increased health recovery for your mods. Not a bad PvP choice overall. The weapon for this week is the Prometheus Lens. Yes, this thing got a nice buff with Warmind. Uh, we've been waiting for it for a while. It's the thing that's got Prismatic Inferno, where the longer you fire, it builds up this high damage dealing AoE explosive. It's super fun. It's super good in PvP. It had its ammo buffed up to 100 rounds per mag, and it restores ammo when you get kills. Great stuff. For Warlocks, we've got the Vesper of Radius Exotic Warlock Chess Piece. It's a very pretty chess piece with a decent enough ability. Rift will create an arc shockwave when cast, and your rift energy will recharge faster when you're surrounded by enemies. For mods, it's got increased resilience and, of course, increased health recovery. Finally, we've got a brand new exotic in the Ashen Wake Titan Gauntlets. These things allow your fusion grenades to explode on impact, as well as granting you increased grenade throw speed. Kind of an interesting change there, allowing you to get a 1-2 combination off a little bit easier. Now, moving on to the consumables, we've of course got the Three of Coins. You can pop this for an increased chance at getting exotic engrams. The effect lasts for four hours. And then the Five of Swords. This is the upgraded Nightfall Challenge card. This is going to be seeing some changes. If you've already got your challenge card, which you should, you can just come over here to Xur uh, and upgrade it to the legendary version. This allows you to select one elemental singe, one beneficial modifier, and then up to two additional disadvantage modifiers. All of which, of course, will increase your score in prestige nightfalls. Now, what's kind of interesting about this is with the disadvantage, you can actually select which modifiers you want active. This means that prestige nightfalls no longer have the extinguish modifier that sends the entire team back to orbit. You have to select that on here. If you don't, you're not going to get sent back to orbit anymore on prestige nightfalls. Black Fox and I actually tested this with the Prestige Nightfall, and uh, I gotta say, it makes it a lot more worthwhile to run when I don't have any more fear of being booted back to orbit. So if you're just trying to complete it for the weekly powerful engram, definitely gonna be worth your time now. But alright, that is gonna be it for this one. So there's got some interesting stuff for sale this week. Of course, the biggest thing here is probably gonna be the Faded Engram with all the new stuff being for sale. As you can see, I got myself the Apotheosis Veil Exotic Warlock Helmet. Gonna be looking forward to using that thing. Seeing a little bit of a change now. It restores your health, your grenade, your melee, and your ability energy whenever you pop your super now. Definitely a big change. Can't wait to get that thing leveled up and test it out. But all right, Guardians, that is going to be it for everything in Xur's inventory. What did you get from your faded engrams? And now that the Prestige Nightfall is seeing a change, are you going to be trying it out? Be sure to let me know it down in the comment section below. And also, it's raid day. The Spire of Stars is live, so get out there, get on Twitch, and watch some people trying to complete it for the vaunted title of Worlds First. Should be a lot of fun. But anyways, that's going to be it for this one. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to drop a like, make sure you subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest stuff we're putting out. But I'm out for now. As always, I am the Black Link. You guardians, stay frosty.